I can understand when you want to make a stunt, to make a point or a point of protest. But if you are going to protest in that fashion, then Mr. Ardenet, Brian Ardenet, yellow man, he should have acknowledged that here, well, this comes with consequences. So if you're going to make a move in the house like that, then you're subject to being kicked out of the house. So you've made your point, you've said your statement to Mr. Courtney, whatever you wanted to say, and then they ask you to leave, then you leave, or you cool it down. To me, that was, I, I was very, I was very um, raged by it. And to me, when, when Yellow Man went after Marisol Amaya as well, it was the Plus TV cameraman who was affected, who I would believe was assaulted. It was um, Mr. Ellis, the cameraman from Channel 7, who was threatened. And Marisol was assaulted. Why didn't he have to touch the camera phone for Marisol? And she's a female. To prove what? That doesn't prove anything. And in all instances, the police did nothing. The police just watched the situation brew out of control and did absolutely nothing. The last time Cola and its affiliates, when we were at the house, there were two or three police officers. Within half an hour, there were about 18 to 20 police officers. When we made our statements, we didn't throw anything at any cameraman. We didn't threaten anybody. But we were roughed up with guns and ammunition and being forced out of the house. Mr. Salazar had the authority as the chairman of that committee and that, and that inquiry to demand from the police, not just in a subtle way and say, kindly, kindly move, and then go to suspend the house. He had the authority to forcibly remove those gentlemen.